you remember the 1-0 games, the 2-1 to -one baseball games? You know, we've had a couple of those in the last week here. Uh, I can't wait, to be honest with you, Rob. I've been waiting all year for it. Can't wait to come back and wear the red, white, and blue. Yeah, so the conference is wide open. We've seen some of the scores already for this. Um, a lot of teams have played league games, and they're just beating up on everybody. Everyone's just going at it. Tonight, we're coming to you from Jack Williams Stadium, the storied baseball venue, home of New York Yankee slugger Roger Maris. 61 homers in 1961, of course. The world champion New York Yankees hold maneuvers at Fort Lauderdale with their pitching mainstays, 25-game winner Whitey Ford and top reliever Luis Arroyo, and their big siege guns, Johnny Blanchard, Bill Scourin, Elston Howard, Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, and Roger Maris. Any questions? Florida Sunshine agrees with Mantle. His 54 home runs and Maris's record 61 made last year memorable for baseball and the Embors. Ballpark right on the riverbanks of Fargo-Moorhead. A twin town feel like Breckenridge-Wapaton, just a little bigger. Wapaton Post 20 enters tonight's game with a 7-1 record. The Post 2 Bombers are 10-1. This will be the East Region Class A season opener for both squads. He's turned into a really good ball player. He's really good over there at third base. to first gets away and that is not good because Caden Kappas is a blur on the bases and here he comes into third base. Yeah! Yeah! Jaden King continues to rack up the RBIs. He'll drive in Carter Hawker. Chris came out there. What was the conversation like? Um, on his way out there, you know, he he just kind of said, "This is what baseball is made of. This is what makes baseball great." And he said, "Just go out there, get a roll ball, shooting strikes." And I just I was laughing because Jackson kind of he just kind of makes weird faces out there, and he just kind of uh, releases attention. What did you go with on the uh, strikeout pitch? Fastball, low and outside. Just hoping I'd get it past him or anything, and that's what happened. Swing and a miss, Fleaflet trying to do damage. He connects on the second pitch, and that is driven deep to the right center gap. He'll wheel around for a triple. Six consecutive throws over to first base, and Caden Kappas is on the move, and he will win this battle. Mano y mano, this one goes to Kappas. The Fargo Bombers are a 17U team playing 19U baseball, and they belong. Look at that defensive play, gunning down Jaden King at first base. It's going to 
go through the five hole to the backstop. Wapaton's going to score two runs and take the lead. Wait a minute, dead ball. They're going to say it hit Hinkley in the foot and he's not arguing. Great piece of hitting by Miles Hinkley on the second chance. He chops it to third and that scores courtesy runner Evan Doctor. Wapaton one, post two, zero. Caden Kappas has the Bombers bailing out of the box with that nasty curveball. He goes complete game, two hitter, nine strikeouts. Hit on the barrel to left field, knuckling a little bit. Josiah Brewer, he handles it. Basket catch, that's going to end the ball game. 30 straight wins in the East region for Wapaton. Welcome to Perm, Minnesota for the Perm Tournament at Al Kruger Field. This weekend will feature some of the top teams from Minnesota and North Dakota. It's going to be a wet one out there, folks. These boys are going to be playing in the mud. Post 20 isn't afraid of getting a little dirty in the field or on the bases. This team is aggressive, and they will have their hands full against a Perm team that just went 24-3 during the spring season. One thing about Wapaton, they travel well, so the stands will be filled with Post 20 faithful today. Avery Malmy coming out in relief. He has not made a pitching appearance this summer. He has two at-bats at the plate. What a big spot for the righty, and he's got a tall task ahead of him. I mean, there was definitely some nervousness. Just got to come in and throw strikes, and I came with confidence and did that. That is a filthy sweeper. Perm went 24-3 and during the school season. Consolation State Champions in Class 2A. Two wins at the Battle of Omaha to start the summer. Avery Malmy doesn't care one bit. Avery Malmy looking like nasty Nestor Cortez out there. Breaking balls, quirky delivery, and he has this buzz lineup in handcuffs. Langan Walters really impressed me this season. He's been lights out at third base. Phenomenal perm tournament, made a diving play. And he also kept the tag on a runner who slid past the base. Nick's, Nick's one of my best friends. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a gold glover. He's gotten a lot better. And it's, it's, it's good to see. Malmi lays down a bunt, and that is going to be perfect. He paints the line, and he's going to get on with an infield bunt single. Avery Malmi, have yourself a day. <laughs> Take us through the bunt and uh, how the bunt single un unfolded. Uh, so I, I was like, yeah, I got to get this down, and I stuck the bat out, and it hit my big toe, and big toe kept it fair, and it worked out, and I reached base safely. So whatever works. Use in the wheels. Yeah, whatever works. Joe Brew sprints out of the dugout to congratulate Nick Langenwalter. Avery Malmy, 
player of the game. Way to come in and throw strikes. Good job. Good Baby job. Goes. Skyler, way to come and close the door at the end. We have to get better. We have to get better. And that's what I talked about turning the turning the game on and stuff. You should tell yourself situations when you're watching a game on TV too. Good freaking win. Way to start the turn, way to set a tone. Are you gonna go uh, go home and break this one up to your brother or what? I'll I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Yeah. Having having Hayek with that uh, that bat at the six spots really nice for us, and I can see how far he's came since last year. Beauty. We'll make it simple. <clears throat> Credit goes to uh, the teams and the players I've had. You know, guys who've bought in uh, to my philosophy, who've been coachable kids. Every single one of them that I've had the pleasure of coaching. Um, you know. They know that I'm going to be hard on them at times because they know I'm going to try to pull the best out of them, and, and they've bought into that philosophy. They like to get coached hard. They like to come to practice and go to work every single day, and, and they show up game day. Uh, then my, my assistant coaches, I mean, I, I, I'd never be where I am without them, you know. So I look back at uh, a Brant Mickelson, a Kelly McNary, uh, Steve Hockert, Mike Schroeder, Caden Hockert. I mean, you know, I tip my hat to them. They come every day, come to work. Helping, helping this program get better, and, and I wouldn't be where I am today without those guys. And State championships, things like that, of course, you remember those, but to be honest with you, I remember the losses more than anything because I think we can take more out of losses. You know, you, you find ways to win ball games, you take things from that, but when you lose ball games, that's, that's what makes a team. That's, that's how you get better. And, uh, you know, I think, I think I have, uh, I'm creeping up on 100 career losses, so, you know, that number's not far down the road here either, and, and those, those are the games that really stand out, you know. Um, how have those games made us better? And uh, you put it all together and, and you, you build a culture, you build a program, and, and guys do what you ask of them, and, and that's what happens. You, you reap the benefits of that. Pick B. Holy Merry Christmas. Lollipop. Lollipop. Here you go. Carter Hawker gets his first career A Legion start. That's got to be a proud dad moment for Wapton Post 20 pitching coach Steve Hawker. A little bit of heat and a lot of movement on these pitches from Carter Bob Hockert. Eli Kappas is no stranger to being hit by pitch, but what happened in this game is something nobody expected.
Ultimately, Eli was taken to a local hospital. His CT scan came back negative, no broken bones, just stitches to the face. He returned after missing just one double header. Meanwhile, Braxton Bubba Pauly prepared in the dugout, called upon for his first pitching appearance after a lengthy recovery from an elbow injury. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, listen, we got two down, runner on third here, one old count. I wear my sunglasses at night. What's your, what's your, uh, how's that bug in your nose? His arms just fall off. Holy Bubba, back on the bomb. Two or three. Return of the man. First injury assignment back. What they gonna say now? Right, let's go, Bubba. I'm two, three. What they gonna say now? You go lock in infield. Come on. Bro, he was time. I got him in the sleeve. I must have blocked it. You probably didn't see it. Thompson has tied this game at three, but Jackson Fleetfoot steps to the plate. Tied no more. Jackson Fleetfoot does it again. Oh, I felt really good to be back out there with the boys. It was a long, it was a long journey. It was really mentally tough watching everybody play and not being there to help but I felt like when I came back I really felt like I was back with the team again. Oh I felt like I just reared back and quit trying to aim it and just threw it as hard as I could and just guided it in and it was perfect. Take me out to the ball game sung by Edward Meeker Edison Record. <laughs> Casey was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad, just to root for the home.